Hello students. So now we will start with another super exciting topic which is apomixis. See, generally we said that seeds are a product of sexual reproduction. But there are certain plants like the Asteraceae family and the grasses which have developed mechanism of producing seeds without fertilization. Yes, you heard it right. There is a method of production of seeds without fertilization and it is known as apomixis. Apomixis is an asexual reproduction which will be mimicking the sexual reproduction. Why? Because till now we have studied that seeds are a product of sexual reproduction. But now we are seeing that seeds can be formed without sexual reproduction. So we say that apomixis is a type of asexual reproduction which is mimicking the sexual reproduction. There are two types of apomixis. See, the names are not mentioned in NCRT, but the description is given. But here, I'll introduce the name so that it's more easy for you to understand. The first type of apomixis is recurrent agamospermy. In case of recurrent agamospermy, what happens is that the megaspore mother cell, which is deployed, will not undergo meiosis, but it will directly undergo repeated mitosis and it will form a diploid embryo sac. This diploid embryo sac will contain the diploid egg cell. This diploid egg cell will directly form the embryo. This is generally observed in case of apple, pear, etc. The next one is sporophytic budding or adventive embryony. In this case, the diploid cells of the ovule, like the new cells or the integuments, directly produces diploid embryo without fertilization. This is commonly observed in case of plants like Opantia citrus. So you have understood it clearly how without fertilization seeds can be formed. Because if embryo is produced, then the embryo needs to be stored in the seeds. So students, now let's talk about polyembryony. Generally, we know that one seed contains one embryo. But there are plants like citrus in which one seed can contain more than one embryo. And this method in which there is the presence of more than one embryo in the seed is known as polyembryony. Polyembryony was for the first time discovered by Leeuwenhoek in citrus. From this diagram, it is clear that this particular seed has many embryos within it. One of the embryo is mentioned as the zygotic embryo, which is formed by actual sexual reproduction, that is by the fusion of the female gamete and the male gamete. Whereas the other embryos that are present are mentioned as nucellar embryo or integumentary embryo. These embryos are formed by the process of apomixis directly from the cells of the new cells and the integuments. So the integumentary as well as the new cellar embryo are produced by vegetative propagation or asexual reproduction. Therefore, they are clones of each other. The only embryo that has some sort of variation is the zygotic embryo because it is the product of sexual reproduction. So I hope polyembryony is very clear to you and you can answer all the questions from this section.